Hi, my name is Quinn Nguyen of Pink and Posey. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm so excited that the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts invited me to participate in their paper garden art installation that is happening later this year. They've asked me to show you how to make a white lily, which is this right here. And I'm so excited to show you what Italian and German crepe paper is all about and how you can take a flat dimensional piece of paper and create a beautiful paper flower. Hi everybody, I am so excited to show you how to make this beautiful white lily. With this particular tutorial, I will be giving you a template. So make sure to head to theposybox.com. You can download the template from there. And I wanna talk about Italian crepe paper. I think a lot of you do not know a lot about crepe paper, so I'm gonna talk about the grains. So this is actually 90 gram Italian crepe paper, and you'll notice the grain going up and down. This is gonna be very critical when you're cutting out the petals and piecing things together. Because in the template itself, I'll talk about the petal, is we're gonna miter these paper. That means we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna have a rectangular piece. This is four inches by three inches. We're gonna cut it from point to point and you'll notice the grain are going up and down. This is really important for you to remember, but go ahead and print out the template, cut it out like this, and you'll be able to use it. So in the template itself, you're gonna notice when we minor the petals that the grains are now going to be 45 degree angle. This is called minoring. And then we're gonna place another third piece of petal that the grain is gonna go up and down. And this part right here, it'll be noted in the template, is where you're gonna place your wire to make sure that you can actually shape your petal. So let me show you how to get started. So what you wanna do is take your 90 gram of Italian crepe paper, you're gonna cut it 22 by 10, and I actually have this folded. So this folded is 11 inches by 10 inches up and down. And to actually use, to laminate this, you're gonna use some sort of glue stick. I'm Today I'm using Elmer's Extreme Glue. And what you wanna make sure is you are going to be applying the glue with the grains, so the grains are now going this way, so you wanna make sure that you are starting from the edge and just gonna run the glue stick down. And you wanna rotate the glue stick so that way it's nice even pressure from point to point. And you're just going to go ahead and glue stick the whole piece of paper. And this will have, make sure that all the glue is going to be adhered to the paper. And what the main purpose of doing this is to actually double up on the layers of your petals so it's nice and thick and you'll have a lot more structure and flutteringness when you do assemble the petals together. So I'm just gonna run the glue stick So now that your crepe paper is nice glued in and all the glue is smoothed out, you're gonna go ahead and fold it in half, and then I want you to go ahead and fold it again. This will actually give you about three inches right there, which is exactly what you want. And now you wanna go ahead and cut it to the four inch. So with our pair of scissors, and you can use any type of scissors. And I'm just gonna mark it right here where it says four inch and just cut it. And then I'll just take the next piece and I will go ahead and cut this part. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and keep the pieces all together. And I'm just gonna make sure everything's nice and aligned. And now we're gonna have four pieces of paper here. We're just gonna go ahead and cut it. So now you actually have four pieces of laminated and now we need, because the petals for the lilies, actually there are six, there are three petals and three sepals. And I just need two more. So I will just go ahead and cut two more pieces up. So now we have six. 
So now is the fun part of how do you go about minoring. So let's take the template out real quick and you'll notice that the grains are going up and down. So you want to go ahead and cut it from corner to corner. And you'll notice the paper has shrunk a little bit, but don't worry, there's so much stretching power that approximately four by three is great. So you're just gonna eyeball it from here to here and just go ahead and cut a straight line all the way through. And the really fun part, now that you have the two pieces, you're gonna take the bottom right hand and you're gonna flip it over and now you have a kite. So once you have this, then you're gonna take your glue stick and then you're going to run this glue stick right on the edge. And then you're gonna take the top piece and you're just gonna lay it on top. You're looking for about a quarter of an inch. You're gonna press it down. You're gonna do this for all six petals. So after you have already mined her all your petals, we're gonna do the piece that's gonna actually cover and reinforce the petal. So you're gonna cut out a six inch width with a 10 inch long. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and cut it into three pieces. So if you fold it in half and then you cordon fold it just like that, you're gonna get six equal pieces. So now you have six one inch pieces just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and just, you're gonna laminate this by taking this in half and you're just gonna fold it and now you have nice even strips. And you're gonna fold this in half. Go ahead and cut it in half like this. And what this is going to do is we are going to, oh my gosh. We're gonna take this piece and we're gonna glue it right on top. And you want a little bit of tail to cover the wires. So with this particular template, you're gonna make sure that this is all set now. So you can see where the wires are run through, just like this. You can see the grains are going this way, and the grains are going 45 degrees. And then this particular piece right here is, this is reinforcing the wire and hiding it for you. So now you wanna go ahead and take the petal template. You're gonna place it right on top, and then you're just gonna cut around, just like so. And because I'm right-handed, what I'll do is I will go ahead and flip this over and just trim around the other side. And you wanna do this for all six petals. So now that you have all your petals and sepals glued in, we're gonna let it dry, and let's work on the center of the lily. So here is your center, and I wanna talk about your anthers. These are your anthers, this is your carpal, and I'll show you how to make these. So earlier we had mentioned the supplies that you can use any type of spices, so this is just a combination of old spices I was about to throw out, and I just threw it in a big bin or a jar, and I just shook it up, and this is the color that you get. So you can use like turmeric, cinnamon. Cinnamon will make it a little bit darker. Turmeric will give it a more yellow tone. And then I just use a combination of masala spices. It will give you kind of this look. And then I'll show you how to make the carpal. And then we'll show you how to wire everything. So things that you're gonna need for this is some wires. So we have 22 gauges and we're actually gonna need seven of them. So they're all right here. And you're also going to need a wire plier, and this will make your life so much easier. So what you want to do is you want to take your wire, and you're going to take it about an inch and a half, 
and you can just eyeball it. Just go ahead and bend it 90 degrees just like this. Then you're going to take the other side and you're just going to bend it again. So now you're creating a nice, like almost like an R. So it looks like an R. And then once you have that, you're going to take it again and you're just going to bend it over and then just enclose it. And then we're just going to pinch it down. So you just have this really good shape to be able to put your modeling clay over and shape your anthers. So we'll do this for the next six wires. So now you're gonna take your modeling clay. We won't need that much at all. So if your modeling clay gets a little bit dry, just wet your hands lightly and just start kneading your modeling clay and it'll get nice and soft and pliable again. But if you just work it a little bit, you just want it nice and soft and you're just gonna get just a tiny bit and it's very, very, very little. So you're just gonna pinch off six pieces just like that. And then we're gonna do the carpal real quick. So the carpal, you're just gonna wad it up and you're gonna get a nice round piece. So you wanna just roll it just like that and you wanna squish it down until you get a nice little ball. You're gonna take one of the ends just like this and you're gonna insert it down. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna think of a triangle which is gonna be, you're gonna take your index finger and your thumb and your index finger and you're gonna form this particular motion. And this will form the triangle. So you're just gonna squeeze it down and you're gonna see excess up and down and you can make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want. So you're looking for a triangle shape just like this. Once you have it, go ahead and take it and you're gonna pinch it down and just gonna bring that modeling clay down to the wire. And then you're just gonna go back up and you're just gonna reform it so you have a nice triangle look. Then you're gonna take another wire gauge, and this is a little bit thicker, I believe this is a 16 gauge, but you can use a wooden skewer or anything. You're gonna take it and imprint it to the side and this will form your carpal. And the really fun thing about modeling clay, you can get this at any craft stores and Walmart is it dries really well and it actually will, it's very, very soft and pliable. So what I'm doing is I'm just dragging the excess piece and I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch it off. Cause you only need a little bit. I'm just gonna make sure that I form and make sure that the bottom part is molded against the wire and you can kind of twist it back and forth to mold onto the wire, and this will help keep it intact. But the main shape that you're looking for is a triangle piece just like that. All right, we're gonna set this aside and let it dry, and let's work on the anther. So once you have these pieces, you're pretty much gonna take it and just imprint it on top. Let me see if I can move this around. So you're just gonna wrap it, and just wrap it around the top part. And you're just gonna form a slight oval shape and once you have that, you're gonna take your uh, thicker wire gauge, you're gonna press it from the top. And don't worry about the wire showing because we're gonna coat it with glue and then coat it with spices. So now that you have all your anthers formed, let's go ahead and apply the pollen onto the anthers. So what you want to do is get a little bowl of glue and you want to go ahead and you can either dip it in and just remove all the excess, but I've been having the glue sit out a little bit so it's a little bit tacky. So what you want to do is have a very thin coat of glue all the way around and just remove any excess glue that you have on here. Once you have that, go ahead and dip your anther and tap off any excess and now you have pollen. And if you have any glue clump, just go ahead and pat it down. But there's your anther. Now I'm gonna talk about how, how to make your own floral tape. So we're gonna use this white crepe paper and pretty much tape the anther 
and the filament. So this is called a filament. And so what you do to get the floral tape, you're gonna go ahead and cut these into strips. You want the grains going up and down like that. And you're actually going to cut it and you're gonna do like a quarter of an inch or even half an inch. The thinner your floral tape is, the finer that you can actually get the tape to go on. But the bigger you have it, the more spaces that you can actually do. So I'm actually gonna cut one of this tape into four pieces. And I'll show you the stretchability of this incredible crepe paper. So look how tiny the strip is. But when you stretch it out, it almost goes by like eight times its size. So once you have this, go ahead and grab your glue stick again. And we are going to go ahead, add some glue to each of our tape. Once you have that, go ahead and make sure that you tap out the excess pollen. And then from here, I find it really easy to start a little bit below, go ahead and wrap it a few times, and then just slide it up so it goes directly underneath the anther. And then from there, you're just gonna slowly wrap it down. Go about 45 degrees and just wrap the whole thing. And you're just gonna just twirl it around, just like that. And now your filament is nice and wrapped and white. And we'll do this for all seven pieces. So one of my favorite medium to color crepe paper is actually Pan Pastels. It's a super fine powder that's almost, think of it as blush. And this particular one is the 680.5 bright yellow green. It's, it's really perfect for plants and for foliages and for petals. So we're just gonna color the bottom part of the anthers. And I find sometimes just using your hand and just rolling it back and forth will apply the color even faster and more evenly. So you just need a tiny little bit and I'm just gonna run my finger just along the base. And this is pretty much just to get a hint of color. And you wanna make sure that the whole, everything is nice and dry before we start putting things together. So once everything's dry, you're gonna start with your carpal and then we're just gonna build on top. And the anther lays down below, so the carpal is floating on top. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and lay this one by one next to each other. And then once you have it all gathered, you're just gonna twist it, and you're just going to start pulling all these pieces on the side. And so it's floating in the center. So the carpal is floating in the center just like that. Once it's in place where you like it and all the anthers are nice and even, what you do is you'll take one of your tape, go ahead and apply a little bit of glue, and then you're gonna start from the very base, just like that, and you're just gonna tape it down, and we're just gonna roll it down, just like that. And this will hold it intact. So now that we have it all in place, I'm just going to head and move all the pieces together. And if there's some a little bit too high, I go ahead and tug it back down. And we're going to set this aside and I'm going to show you how to do your petals. So now we're going to color the petals. We're using the same Pan Pastels again. This is the Pan Pastel 680.5 Bright Yellow Green. All right, so go ahead and take your makeup brush, just add a little bit of color. You're gonna start from the base. This is actually gonna be covered by the wire. So you're gonna lightly tap and just bring a little bit of that color and then just gonna flip it to the other side and do the exact same thing. And sometimes I like to layer in my color. So I'll show you in a little bit what I mean. So once you have the base color on, I'll take a tiny bit of the green, just a hint. I always start from the base and then just apply the color on top. 
and this will just adds a nice hint of variation to this. And again, a little bit goes a long way, but that's something you can do. Also, you can add a different green. This one is another favorite green. This one is the Hansa Yellow shade, number 220.3. This one's actually a little bit more bright and yellowish, but you can see how it changes colors immediately, which is really fun. But play around with the colors and see what colors you'll actually get. All right, now we were just working with Italian crepe paper. We're moving over to Germany. So this is Germany heavy crepe, and this is also a great product. Um, it's, the Italian also does a beautiful 180, and they have an amazing selection of colors. This one's a little bit softer. This is about 140 gram, and we're gonna show you how to make leaves. So what you want for this one is you're looking at an eight inch across and then you want about five inches in width and again we're doing the minor effects so what you want to do is cut it from corner to corner so let's go ahead and just cut this out and this time I'm going to show you a different way to minor so once you have this you're going to take your glue stick again and we're just going to run the glue stick just on the edge, just like this. And last time for the petals, we did, we flipped it over just like that. And you're looking for a kite where the grains are going this way. Last time we did this. Now, instead of doing that, you're actually going to take it and have it facing directly on top of each other, just kind of sandwiching it. And then you're gonna start from the bottom and just kind of pinch it and make sure the glue is glued, the, the paper is nice and glued. So once you have that in place, then you're gonna fold it open just like a kite and you're gonna crease it down. So now you have your foliage. So you're gonna let it dry completely. So what you wanna do is go ahead and cut your leaf. I like to cut my leaves before I wire them just because it's a lot easier to cut through paper than through wire. So now you have your leaf. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open up your flap. And it works a lot better when the glue is nice and dry. Go ahead and get your glue out. And you're going to go ahead and run that glue stick down the side all the way through. You're gonna grab your last wire for your foliage. And you're gonna place it right where the seam is. And you go ahead and close it. And it's really important to make sure the glue is dry before you start shaping your foliage. All right. And then you're just gonna spread it out. And don't worry about this part. We're gonna cover it later. But I wanna make sure that the top part is nice and smooth. So I'll just trim off any excess piece after the glue has set. And this is your foliage. So now that you have all your pieces together, you have three petals, three sepals, you have a foliage, you have your center already made. So we're gonna start with the center and what you wanna do is have that piece ready. And then we're gonna take our petals and we're just gonna go ahead and start moving, bending it down so it's nice and curved just like this. And then if you wanna add ruffles to your petals, what you wanna do is do tearing motion. So I'm just gonna tear it just like that and we're going to move it up and down and you already see the really fun ripples effect and we'll play a little bit more but this will get the paper kind of started and we want to do it on both sides so you just want to do a slight tearing motion just like that and then we want to make sure that we're bending the wires and just doing a nice open shape just like that and we're going to do that for all of this All right, so now that you have all your petals worked like this, we'll go ahead and grab your center. And what you wanna do is go ahead and place this piece about an inch, right where the tape is starting right there. And then what you wanna do is take the next piece and do it slightly half the way, and then another one on the other side. If you have floral tape, this would be a great time to actually put your floral tape 
together, but if you don't, don't worry about it too much. So we have a shorter piece. We're gonna load it up with a glue. And then from the base right here, you're gonna start and just tape this down just so that the wires and the bits are holding together. And you're gonna, gonna have it just right below. Pretty much what you're doing is trying to get the wire to stay put so it doesn't move around as much. So we're just gonna build it down just like that. And don't worry about your petals on top moving because we're gonna add the rest on here. So now for all these different petals, we're going to go ahead and place the petals in between the other petals. You're gonna grab this one, put it in between that. I'm gonna pause for a second. So this is what it should be looking like. So you have the three main petals coming from the center, and then in between the petals, you have your sepals coming out just like this. And now we're just going to go ahead and tape it down. So once you have all the petals and the tape kind of in place, go ahead and just move your petals to where you want it. And if any of the petals starts coming apart, just add a little bit of glue and it will reattach. It's just paper. And the cool part, if you don't like how the petals are laying or shaping, you can always cut them, which is really fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish taping this down, starting from the top. And this is the part where I wanna make sure the petals are in place. So I'm just gonna slightly just wrap it around, and then from there, I will go ahead and start going down. So once you have your floral tape down, we're gonna add the foliage in. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up another tape on here. Then to attach your foliage, you're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue about an inch down, just like that. And then we're gonna attach it directly to the stem, just like so, and we're gonna fold it over. You're gonna take your tape where that inch is, you're gonna fold it, and then you're just gonna wrap it down and cut this part off. And now you have your foliage. And to take your foliage, you just wanna go ahead and just slightly bend it because it is wired. And there is your lily. And you can just shape it a little bit. Go ahead and pull this down and it'll get more ruffle effect. But this is, and just go ahead and fix your center. And you can always add a little bit more color. Bend your lily's petal down a little bit so it curves and opens out even more. Just like that. And there is your lily with a little foliage. And you can always add more foliage to the stems. But have fun, and I can't wait to see your white lily. Make sure you tag Pink and Posy. Thank you.